what's up you too we are finally back with another dissection video and today is going to be the large mouth bass all right so let's start off with the external features of the large mouth bass first you got the head large eyes large mouth look at that mouth when it opens they their feeding method is a ram feeding method so basically what they do is they open their mouth and swim to, towards their prey in a burst of speed so basically they have suction and they're ramming into their prey you have their uh, pectoral fins dorsal fins which do have spines this is the fences and a common trait within the Sincharchid family. Their second pair of dorsal fins, well not pair, it's only one. Their second dorsal fin is only rayed, so it has no spines in it. This is their tail fin, their anal fin, and their pelvic fins. In their mouths, they don't have large teeth either, kind of like oh, kind of like catfish they have very small but many teeth feels like sandpaper and you see their coloration they lose some coloration after you kill them after they die but upper body is green underbelly is very white and that's a usual camouflage tactic so looking from the top it's hard to see the bass so like predators like birds of prey and other birds and other predators cannot, it's hard for them to see their dark body, dark body coloration against the dark uh, lake water and the stuff on the bottom of the lake. And we look at it from um, above, prey species and other fish would be hard for them to see them compared to the light, to like right against the sun. So it was a common camouflage tactic that you see in a lot of animals is that a lot of fish actually is that their underbelly is a lighter color than the top but other than that oh their lateral line you see that right there and then their scales last time catfish didn't have any scales but bass do and they have cycloid scales and these scales are very thin they're not thick at all and they provide a decent amount of protection. They come off very easily, so, but they grow back, so that's a plus. Okay, let's, let's get into this bad boy. All right, well, let's dive into this bad boy. There's actually one thing I want to show you guys before we dive in, and that's the, the parasites. So I filleted this real quick. And so if you can see the yellow blotches, one here, another one's there, another one's here. These are actually parasites. Now, I kind of smashed that one. Let's see if I can extract this one more smoothly. Okay. Kind of crushed them too, but. There it is. I think it killed it when I took it out, but those are the worms. People tell you the iron fish. Oh, it is moving. So I didn't really kill it completely. 
but that's why you need to cook your fish completely and thorough. This was wild caught, so you definitely need to cook it correctly. Now let's look at the organs. So this one was a female. You can see the ribs here. Okay, this is the swim bladder right here. Oh, right here. And it's pretty big too. This is a female. You can tell by the eggs. Oh, she still has eggs here. Yep. So this is bass row. Bass eggs. Let's remove these. Oh. Carefully. If you remember on the catfish, the air bladder was just a big section, it was like a like a bag. But here, it's this whole upper section here. If I cut open here, it's just empty space, full of air to help with buoyancy. We have his intestines. And if you notice, you don't see nearly as much fat in a wild caught fish than you do with the farm raised. Let's just take this whole thing off and examine it. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Okay. See the gallbladder. Ooh, look at this little bag. I must be having too much fun with this. Ooh, the kidney. Wow, this. Kidney is actually quite big. You can see the blood vessels in the kidney. Let's see what the kidney looks like. Cut it in half. kidney cut straight down. See all the veins in there. <laughs> so where's his heart? Oh wait, this is his heart. Right there. And this is his stomach. Let's see the last thing this thing ate. Wow, the stomach feels empty. And that's because it pretty much is. So that's exactly why it attacked my lure. Because the stomach contents there's nothing. It is completely empty. You look through the intestines, there's nothing in here either. So this bass was clearly hungry when it hit my lure. And then here, you see all the gills. And more parasites. 
took this bad boy over. Okay, I filleted that horribly. I still got the ribs in there. This knife is not that sharp, but it looks like this side has less parasites than the other side. Wait, you can see the spine. and the other veins that feed the fins and the other organs. That's supposed to be edible there. Eat the eyes too. Let's see if we can take out the eyes. Okay. I know I messed that up because <laughs> I broke. Wow. Okay, at least we have two eyes. So we can try again. <laughs> what is this? I don't know much about fish eyes yet. I'm still learning. But. Pretty cool, huh?